All right, guys, we're going to take a look at day three today. This is our day three spiral review. When we look at number one, it says to fill in the circles to select the correct symbol for each comparison. Remember that this first one means less than. That would be greater than and equal. When we take a look at one and three tenths and compare that to one and 46 hundredths, we like to go ahead and add that hundredths place on there. So we fill it in with a zero. So remember, it's almost like you're saying you have a dollar 30 or a dollar 46. So one and 30 hundredths is less than one and 46 hundredths. And then in the next box, all they did was flip the numbers around. So if we add our zero here, we know that one and 46 hundredths is greater than one and 30 hundredths. And there's your decimals. All right, a rectangle has a length of eight feet and a perimeter of 40 feet. What is the width and feet of the rectangle? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my rectangle. I know that the length is eight feet, and I'm trying to figure out what the width is, but I know that the perimeter, which goes all the way around, is 40 feet. Okay, a perimeter of 40 feet. I know this side is eight feet. So when I add those two sides together, I have 16. If I take that away from 40, that'll tell me how much I have left. So we're gonna borrow. 10 minus six is four, three minus one is two. So we have 24 feet to split between these two sides. So we're gonna divide this by two. 24 divided by two. So if I do 24 divided by two, two goes into two, or two times 10, we'll do it partial quotients, two times 10 is 20, we're left with four, and two times two is four. So it's a total of 12 feet, there and on this side. So C would be the correct answer there. Sorry, it keeps shaking on you. All right, number three, which figure has a line of symmetry? Symmetry means we can split it down the middle and it looks the same both ways. Now you can either do a vertical line of symmetry or horizontal line of symmetry. Mrs. Moore, can you please call the front office, Mrs. Moore? Or you can do diagonal lines of symmetry. So let's take a look. We can split this A, the letter A vertically. That's the only way. The G cannot be split anyway. This arrow can't be because it has the point on this side. If it was just the half circle, we could split that vertically as well. And then the F, we can't split it vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. So three should be letter A. Ooh, we have a grid now. Number four, what is the sum of one and one fourth and two and two fourths? Sum tells me I need to add. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do one and one fourth and we're gonna do two and two fourths and we are gonna add those together. Oop. Sorry about that. Right up here, one and one fourth plus two and two fourths. I know if I add one fourth plus two fourths, I get three fourths, and one plus two wholes is three wholes. Now look here, in a grid we have to convert it. It says remember, you have to convert a mixed number into a fraction greater than one when you record your answer on a grid. So three and three fourths. Well, I have three holes. I know a hole is four fourths. So I've got to have three four fourths. So I'm going to come down here and write this because I'm kind of running out of room up there. And we're going to do it like this. We're going to do three holes, which is four fourths plus four fourths plus four fourths. And then we're going to add our three fourths. 
So now I have four fourths, eight fourths, 12 fourths, plus three more would be 15 fourths. And that is a fraction greater than one, 15 fourths. Now if I wanna write that in my grid up here, I put one, five, slash, four. And then we just go in and bubble in the correct bubble. Don't bubble in anything else. I almost bubbled in the wrong one there. One, five, slash, four. Don't bubble in anything else. It's only the boxes that you filled in. Good job. All right, let's move to our last one for today. Select all the equations that are true. All right, we've got equations on both sides of the equal sign, so we're gonna solve both. 34 plus four more would be 38. 35 plus three more is also 38. Those are equal. So, select all tells me there's gonna be more than one though, so we have to keep going. 34 plus three is 37. 35 plus four is 39. And those are not equal. 34 plus 6 is 40. 35 plus 7 is going to be 42, but let's do it over here on the side just to make sure. 7 plus 5 is 12, and 3 plus 1 is 4, so that is 42. Those are not equal. 34 plus 14. That's 48. And then if we add 35 plus 12, 5 and 2 is 7, and 3 and 1 is 4. So 48 is not equal to 47. And then our last one is 34 plus 14. 4 and 4 is 8, 3 and 1 is 4. And then we have 35 plus 13. 5 and 3 is 8, and 3 and 1 is 4. Ooh, so they're both 48 on this one, so they are equal. So you should have bubbled in A and E for number 5. And that's it for your daily spiral review. So now watch the video on quadrilaterals and do lesson 16 through.